Alright guys, here it is. My G3 SG-1, wait no, restart that, um, <laughs> sorry. My Jingong G3 SG-1, the second owner purchased off Craigslist, but was mainly purchased off Airsoft Megastore, um, 400 FPS, um, I bought it for $80, and thing only failed me once with the gears, one gear broke, I have no clue what gear broke, but like, yeah, um, but I got it fixed, it came with two 500 round mags, get a good look at that, So yeah, um, it came with the stock charger, stock battery, and this. All the accessories I have on it, the rail, the flashlight, this, the, this top rail and the scope, um, this tape on top, uh, I only put this tape on there for a little bit grip, so yeah. Um, these rails. I received from my friend BJ these two rails, this rail and this rail. I screwed it on myself, drilled a hole into the the handguard. Doesn't really do anything because the ha there's nothing in the handguard because the stock goes the the battery goes into the stock. This flashlight mount came from my older M4 that broke down on me, couldn't fix it because then the whole gearbox was gone. So I just said might as well just get a new gun and I ended up getting this one. It's got a stock bipod. Cannot take this off, cannot take this bipod off and put it on another gun. I repeat, you cannot do that. Um charging handle is right here. Yeah. Um let me tell you, this gun is really good. Um it's got front Front sling mount, middle sling mount on the handguard, and one on the stock. Um, I got an E power sticker on it. I got a four by a four by thirty two scope. Can't really see that, but shit, you know, shit happens. Um, I got this GMP battery. GMP battery I found. Did not steal it. I found it. Um, it's really good. I mean, well, I just drained this battery from Saturday. I was playing on Saturday. I just drained it. The battery just ran out. Stock battery. Something. I, I have no idea. Um. So yeah. Um. So yeah, this gun is really fast. Really good. Real good sniper. Pull out the stock. You have to pull this. Pull this thing right here. Put it down. Up, same thing with the other side. Put it down, wait, down, up, and there you go. You got yourself a sniper. Um, this scope was received by my friend BJ again. Um, sling received by my old bag. <laughs> um, this top rail right here, got it from my old shotgun. And yeah, pull the charging handle. There's your hop up right, right there, right in here. Um, I got it fixed by E Power. Really nice guys. Um, I received this flashlight. It's a regular flashlight, and then glow glow stick. And a flasher. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I have an orange flasher. I covered it with electrical tape. Black one. You know, because I, I, it's hella hard to get off. I didn't even get it off once yet. Having a real hard time getting it off. Um, I got the Hawaiian Island stickers from Walmart. <laughs> Pretty cool. This thing is... Oh, it's like an MP5 and something else put together, but, like, yeah. It's like a gigantic piece of an MP5, but... MP5s are not German. This is a German gun. 
so yeah. Um, to put the battery in, it goes into the stock. Hold on a second. Put my foot right there. Sorry, I'm like, yeah, wait, hold on. Right there. Slip your battery straight in there. Hook it up. Hook that shit up. I'm gonna do a little dry fire test for you. I know dry firing is not good for electrical guns, but but hey, you do what you gotta do. Yeah. So here we go. Here's. Oh yeah. You got a nicer click to safe, semi, and full auto. You got a safe. See, look, you got a real nice click. Semi, and full automatic. So safe, semi, and full. This thing is really fast. Listen to it. Pretty cool, yeah? <laughs> That's so. Um, I would do a test with the GMP battery. The GMP battery, surprisingly, makes it go really fast. This is not an 8.4 volt. This is a... I mean, this, no, I know. This is not a 9.6 volt or 7.2. Or 7 this is a 8.4 volt large type GMP NICAD battery. And, yeah. Um, this scope is really nice. Real, real good, real good. Um, yeah. So the it charges real kind of fast. Not not that fast, but like maybe three hours, two hours tops. Um, all I can say about this gun is that I hope it doesn't fail me again. It's just the gears. I got. I took out. I took out the gears from my old G36 gearbox because then I had to put it back together. I traded my friend BJ Project Guns, his Project G36 for my Project Mac 11. I'm the owner of three Mac 11s or now the owner of two. Um, Yeah, this gun is really good. I don't recommend this gun to be a starter gun, mostly because of its size. Um, it's cause, like, yeah, um, I'm not a starter, I mean, like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a full-on starter. I've been playing for about a year, stopped, and then started back up with Team Oahu Grown. Woot woot, haha. <laughs> um, so don't forget to subscribe, check out my bros videos, 808 Jayhawk, that's my friend Daniel, he's on my team. And my friend BJ, Rainbow Six Airsoft. And don't forget to subscribe again. Um, I got a rant on Justin Bieber, so go check it out. I'll redo my Mac 11 review too. So, alright. I am BJ Ramos 4, located in Hawaii, Millville, Wahiwa. Okay, so yeah, um, I go to Milani, but I spend a lot of my time in Wahiwa, so yeah. Um, E-Power Sports, again, if you live in Hawaii, E-Power is having a sale on BBs, I think, still, I think it's still going on, um, 30 bucks for three Airsoft Elite bags, comes with 2,500 rounds in them, um, and yeah. To fix this gun was about 78 bucks. Pretty cheap. Cheapest one on the island on Oahu. Um, all I can say is now um, we're going Nimitz, so I'll be expecting new. You'll be expecting new videos, and I got a. I got one more video coming up, or I'm gonna upload it with this one. Is another airsoft video, so. Here we go. So BJ Ramos 4, I'm out boys. Shoots. Aloha, mahalo, e kakuiko.